What is going on guys, it's Declan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to give your personal vehicles to your friends to keep in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this glitch basically enables you to essentially copy your vehicle and then give that copy of your vehicle to your friend and then your friend can go ahead and store that in his garage. And this is by far the best method on how to do this. It literally takes no longer than around 3-5 to five minutes to do. Definitely one of the easiest and best glitches in Grand Theft Auto Online currently. Now a good friend of mine called Codflows actually told me about this so a link to his channel will be in the description below. And it's actually been known for a while which I didn't really know. I never actually saw any videos on this and I never really posted it on my channel so I thought now is the perfect time to do so as this is a really really good glitch anyway guys if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you hit that like button down below once again can we try shoot for something well over 500 likes that would be awesome and with that said let's begin so starting this off the first thing you want to do is have a friend in the game who is going to be giving you his personal vehicle now once again guys your friend does not lose the vehicle in the process of you doing this it merely copies his vehicle and then enables you to store it inside of your garage Nevertheless, once you are inside of your friend's vehicle, as you can see, I can't currently store it, seeing as it is my friend's car. All you want to do, guys, is simply park the vehicle relatively close to your garage door, like so. Now, it doesn't have to be too close. As long as it's close enough, then you are fine, and this does work at any garage. And once you have parked it, simply get out and then walk inside of your garage. Now, guys, once you are inside of your garage, what you then want to do is go ahead and press the start button, then go across to online. Then go down to options and make sure that your spawn location is set to last location now as soon as you've done that guys what you want to do is go ahead and get into any vehicle that you do not mind losing as what is going to happen is the vehicle that you get into is going to be replaced with your friend's vehicle outside so as you can see right now i'm going to go ahead and get into a vehicle then what you want to do is bring up your phone then go across the quick job then click on join random and from there it will say are you sure now here is where the tricky part comes into play what you want to do is press A and then accelerate at the exact same time. So A and RT at the exact same time on the Xbox. I'm not too sure what it is on the PlayStation. And if done correctly and at the exact same time, it should spawn you into a mission lobby. Now here is the downside. Sometimes players will start the job before you get a chance to quit. Anyway, once it has spawned you down into the player lobby, what you then want to do is press B to quit. Now once you do quit guys, it should spawn you down into your garage in a glitched position. As you can see right now, I have successfully done it. So what you then want to do from there is run up to your friend's personal vehicle and then get into his vehicle. So as you can see right now, here is Jordan's personal vehicle. I get into it and then just wait. Do not move, guys. It is absolutely essential that you do not move and it should glitch you back into your garage like so. And then it will kick you out of the vehicle. But here's the thing. Across the road now, as you can see by the minimap, I now have that vehicle and it has now duplicated. So as you can see right now, there is the duplicated version of the vehicle and it also has my crew emblem on now as well as if your friend does have a crew emblem on the vehicle and you are not in the same crew then it will eventually change to your crew emblem once you do the glitch nevertheless guys i now own my friend's vehicle and my friend's vehicle for him has blown up and it is in moore's mutual so what you need to do now guys is have your friend phone up moore's mutual and it will spawn at their depot Nevertheless, as you can see, I am now bringing this vehicle into my garage just to show you guys that it has worked. And there you have it, guys. I now have a copy of my friend's vehicle in my garage, and this is by far the best way to do this glitch. I uploaded a video around six days ago on how to do this, and that was a really long method where you had to go do a car duplication glitch at the very start and stuff. And straight after that, a friend of mine, Codflows, told me about this new, faster way of doing it. Well, it wasn't really new, it was old. But um, he told me about this faster way of doing it. So once again, credit goes to him. Make sure you guys go ahead and check him out in the description below for actually telling me. Nevertheless, all you now need to do is simply go to Moore's Mutual and then your friend can go ahead and get his vehicle back. And that is pretty much how you do it, guys. All this really is, is doing the insurance glitch on your friend's vehicle. And once you do that, your friend's vehicle will blow up. And then all he has to do, essentially, is ring up Moore's Mutual to get his vehicle back. And that is pretty much it for the commentary, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try shoot for something well over 500 likes? That would be awesome. And if you want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD. We are always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. Anyway, with that said, I will see you all in the next video.